Hello, I'm Sinesio Miranda, and I'm doing this video for EASY, Equal Access to Software and Information. In it, I'm going to be talking about how to put a web page on the internet, but I'm not going to address how to create the web page. Basically, what I'm taking a look at is what FTP, File Transfer Protocol, is, what's a hosting service, what's a server, and what's a URL, among other things. Okay, so I'll start off by giving you an overview of the different steps on how a web page is handled during its creation and after finishing it. First, in your web developer software, like Dreamweaver or Composer, for example, you're going to have to create a local folder to save your web page and all the elements that are going to be in the web, like buttons, pictures, graphics, and more. Commonly, this folder and any subfolders are named the same as the folders are on the website. Frequently, on the website, there are folders where all the images used anywhere on the site are stored together. The idea is to mirror the site's structure. After finishing with your web page or web pages, in the case if you have more than one, you are ready to upload them to the internet by using an FTP client software like FileZilla in which you will be enabled to transfer the web pages making it available to others. One last thing to say is that for these pages to be visible on the internet is that you have to have a registered internet domain such as myschool.edu or mybusiness.com and that the server settings are set to permit the world to read those files. Domain names have to be purchased and that has to be periodically renewed. Thank you for watching this video. Please come and visit us at http://easyeasi.cc